This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to take video which is stored on a DVD and convert it into a format suitable for editing, a process called ripping. Maria asks, my question is what software do you use when you do DVD ripping and how does it work? This I thought was such an easy question, except I realized that the answer has changed. This took me probably three hours of research yesterday as I was working on this presentation. And the reason is, the go-to application that we use for ripping DVDs is MPEG Stream Clip. And it works great in versions of the Mac OS prior to 10.12, but starting in Sierra, which is OS X 10.12, and later High Sierra, which is coming out this fall. MPEG Stream Clip no longer works for converting DVD video into video that we can edit. So I then went on this expedition to find what would work. And after two hours of testing of a wide variety of different software, I found something that I recommend, which is iSkySoft iMedia Converter Deluxe. You can learn more at their website, iSkySoft.us. Notice it's not .com, it's .us. Let me illustrate. If we go to the Applications folder, there's the iSkySoft iMedia Converter Deluxe, and I've copied here a DVD to my desktop. Now, this is a, a program that Edward R. Murrow did in the 1950s for CBS television. And I'm gonna just use this because inside this are the two folders that we have in a DVD, the Video TS folder and the Audio TS folder. All DVDs use a format of video called MPEG-2. That's the standard for DVDs. It is a pretty fat format. It isn't particularly great quality, doesn't create really small sizes, but it was invented 30 years ago, so you don't expect miracles. If we start iSkySoft, the converter, this is the interface. Notice here it says load DVD, so I'm gonna load the DVD. Find the DVD that I copied to my desktop and click load. After a few seconds, there's the video. It's um, the CBS City, it runs uh, a little less than a gig, it's about 30 minutes long. Now this is the free trial version of iSkySoft Media. You can download it yourself, doesn't cost anything, and it will convert the first third of your movie or your DVD so you can see whether it works and how well it works. By default, it's converting this video from DVD into a compressed format, MPEG-4. This is not what you want. You want to be able to capture as much information from that DVD as you can, so you need to change the format. We're going to click this down arrow, and what I recommend for ripping DVDs is the DV codec. If you're working in, in North America, you want to use NTSC. If you're working in the rest of the world, use PAL. I'm going to work with NTSC. So there's the format. You then click Convert. This is a 30-minute program. It's going to do the first 10 minutes. It's close to real time or faster, so it doesn't take a long time. But I don't want to have us waste the time waiting for it to convert. I'm going to show you what the finished version is. So this is a really good program for converting non-copy-protected DVDs. If it's a copy-protected DVD and you don't own the copyright, it's not appropriate for you to convert that video. But anything that you have created that you've burned to a DVD, copy protection can only be added when it's replicated uh, at a manufacturing plant. We can't add copy protection when we burn our own DVDs. So let's just take a look at the results. It's by default stored inside the movies folder. And there's the media converter folder. We'll twirl that open. And there's our video. The DV format, remember, is standard def, not high def. And we'll just jump forward a bit. And we can see that this was originally shot on film. There's all kinds of film noise here. I laugh every time I see that truck. Anyway, we now have a 640 by 480 square pixel version in DV format, which can be edited in Premiere or Avid or Final Cut. DV is a very, very popular, though old, format, which can be used for any editing we want, and it's the right format to convert our DVDs from. If you are converting, remember you must convert to a standard def image, not high def. High def is going to be grainy. And if you're working with the latest versions of the operating system, 
iSky Soft is a good piece of software to work with. And if you're working with earlier versions, MPEG Stream Clip. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 230. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.